So have you ever been looking at kitchen knives and saw that there are a lot of the Japanese style kitchen knives like this Hone Suki that you can see in front of you provided to me by Doll Strong Knives. But have you ever looked at them and wondered to yourself, why do so many Japanese kitchen knives come in a chisel ground configuration, a single edge? Um, I'm going to try and kind of explain it. There's a lot of benefits for that. We're going to talk about that. That's the subject of today's video. So let's turn this around and talk out about it from above. So guys, like I said in the intro, we're going to take a quick look at Japanese style kitchen knives. And well, not just Japanese kitchen knives, but chisel ground kitchen knives in general. Now, this is what you're typically going to see on a kitchen knife. Both of these are doll strong knives, by the way. Hey, channel sponsor, but this is not a sponsored video. I just like these knives. I want to get them into videos. Um, but typically a knife like this is V ground. So that means that it's even from side to side. Sometimes guys like me that are professional sharpeners will establish a bias on a knife at the edge, which means that the angles a little bit more chiseled on one of these than the others. And it's going to preclude some of the issues that you have with a V ground knife, which is why they make chisel ground knives to begin with. So these knives are what you're typically going to see. They come down even on both sides. There is a drastic difference between what you see on a traditional European style knife and a traditional Japanese style kitchen knife. So let's get this out of the way and we're gonna talk about what some of the benefits of a chisel ground edge on a kitchen knife are. So one of the many reasons you may choose to use a chisel grind on something like a kitchen knife or a woodworking tool is the acuteness and fineness of this edge. It's going to allow you to have the maximum cutting potential and not have to worry about wavering edges and things like that. They take an extremely acute edge on a chisel and they are very well supported. That transition comes down and you have a good bit of material behind it, a lot like a Scandi grind, which is basically two chisel grinds put together to make a perfect V. Uh, these are incredibly good for a lot of things, woodworking, cutting, and things like that. But you have a very, very acute edge that works really well and can be biased from right-handed to left-handed. If you were to find a professional, a, a superior professional custom kitchen knife, and you wanted it done in this, in this fashion, you could order left or right-handed grind so that in the cut, that knife is going to work better for you because this way you've got your flat edge coming down. So super, super, super acute, fine edge. That would be the first reason um, you get a lot of cutting potential on it. Now, this is not a typical Japanese chef's knife per se. This is a poultry knife. So while it has a lot of the typical look of a Japanese kitchen knife, um, it does not have a forward facing edge because this allows you to use that heavier part here to get into bone and then clean up and cut and things like that. But there's your first reason is the acuteness and sharpness of it. So let's go ahead and look at the next reason you might want. And that is going to be ease of maintenance and lifetime and length of use. So I'm not removing material from both sides of this knife when I sharpen. As you can see, there is no bevel. Only the areas that you can see where I've just touched this to remove the burr, it gets basically one finishing pass flat on the stone. And you can see where that material has touched. So you don't have a very pronounced bevel on the back of this knife. The only material you're moving is from the front, which means it's easier to maintain one angle than two. And then you are only removing that material from here. So you're not having to remove as much material in one go. You're just removing the material down to that, form a burr down the full length, put it on the stone, one, maybe two passes flat like that. And you've removed that burr and given yourself a very, very clean edge that is going to do you very well. They strop up very well because you're only stropping on one side and then you do one pass back this way. So the main, the main maintainability of this knife is going to be great. Uh, it's not going to require as much technique in the sharpening and it's not going to require any much anywhere near as much work on your stones. Because like I said, you're basically doing this till you form your full burr knock that burr off, then switch to your next stone and do the same thing, then knock the burr off. So simple, simple, easy. And like I said, stropping on these are a dream. They are easy, easy, easy to do. So the next reason you may want to use a chisel grind on a kitchen knife or, or any knife for that reason is the fact that you can definitely use this 
and get it up against your material and you can thinly peel off layers. Chefs love that because if they're having to, having to do some really, really fine, thin cutting, they can get this against the material and they can glide along and this does not try to dig in. A V-ground knife will kind of try to, to dig in and you'll get uneven cuts. I know you guys have all seen that when you'll be using a, um, a, a, a regular V ground knife to like maybe break down a large piece of meat and you wind up with all these chatter marks where the, where the blade kind of just wants to do its own thing. It wavers in and out. Uh, it's because it, that V ground blade wants to just kind of continue to dig in and cut. This doesn't do that because you can lay that flat and it acts as a guide and it just forces the material up and over and you get a much more consistent, much more controllable cut in very thin things. If say you were wanting to just peel off a layer of something and put it out. Now this, this knife would not be good for that because of the design of it. But I'm saying if you had a chisel ground paring knife and you were trying to do like uh, edible flowers and things like that, where you want it to be really precise and you were trying to peel off specific depth and maintain it very, very cleanly, which is, that's why potato peelers use a chisel ground blade. It does not try to dig in and go too far. It stays constant and it peels off a specific amount of material and you can control that so, so much better. Um, that is one of the big things that a chisel does. That's why we use that's why we use them for woodworking for chisels is because it allows you to control that and it doesn't dig in. Uh, woodworking knives, chisels, uh, hoof knives that, that, uh, that, uh, people use when they're trimming animal hooves are all like that so that you can control the depth of cut much better and it doesn't drift and cut in as abruptly and, and maybe dig into where you don't want it. So the controllability of the cut. Now this is this is a small little thing that someone may want to bring up, but if you're cutting with a Japanese style kitchen knife and you've got the material and you've got your knuckles rolled back, it gives you a much cleaner gliding surface because I don't know if you notice a lot of people, they use just the very tips of their fingers and they chop like this. If you're using a V-ground knife, you're much more likely to cut yourself. This is a much cleaner, I've never cut myself using a Japanese kitchen knife going fast with the, you know, keeping your fingers in close. Um, because you don't have that V where it might catch and it might slide. Now that is just a me thing. That's just one of the things that I bring to the plate. But you know, with that being said, there is no other bevel on this knife and you can stay on it nice and clean, especially some of the kitchen knives that have a double bevel. Like you see this bevel, like you'd have that on the other side. It can get, you can get off that bevel and then you get your knife out of alignment and you can't cut yourself. So there's a handful of reasons that chefs do that. Like, you know, with a beveled edge, if you're cutting small items, you got them down and you're in on it like that. So they work really good for that purpose because like I said, they are nice and flat. Actually, these are hollow on the inside to give you that ability to lay it flat on the stone, like I said earlier. So that's one of the reasons I like them. So the next reason that I can think of would possibly be cleanliness of your cut. Now, I know a professional chef's not going to have a problem with this. They probably, I mean, may or may not, but I drew this here. You know, you got a V and that's an LOL and a chisel. So what you get here is as you're cutting, the material goes both ways. So you can have a tendency, as you can see here, that the ends of your cuts are going to be a little off, like angled like this. With a chisel, a chisel ground edge, you come straight in. And now this is why they're done in sushi knives. Sushi knives in particular are a very good representation of this because as you cut that material that's peeling off both directions on this one, well, it only peels off one direction here. So you get a nice, consistent, clean cut. So you're gonna have that cut on both sides that's nice and clean. It's gonna be much more squared off. Things are gonna have a, let, a lot less tendency to stick to your blade and ruin, especially like sushi or something that you're presenting that the appearance has got to be immaculate. A lot of chefs will use these knives to give themselves that really clean, really true edge of that material uh, so that they get that nice squared off appearance. You don't want sushi to just look all torn and nasty. That's why sushi knives, the big, long, thin ones are definitely chisel ground. And like I said, depending on who's doing the cutting, they'll be chisel ground on this side for right-handed people and this side for left-handed. And that gives you a lot of precision in the cut that you're not gonna get from a V grind. 
And for me, the final reason that anything I've ever made that had a chisel or anything I've ever purchased that were chisel ground, you get a more robust knife. And, and that's because you have truly removed less material. Your bevel only comes down on one side. You have a much more robust knife that's gonna hold up to a lot of the rigors. I find that chisel ground knives have a tendency to stay sharp longer. Um, and like I said, they are a little bit easier to maintain. Stropping them is easy. and But the edge overall, I find, lasts a little bit better because you can see that there's still a lot of material behind that edge. Even though that is very, very, very thin, that is a very, very fine edge. There's still a good bit of material behind that. It is a good, robust knife. And on something like this, like a poultry knife, where you're gonna be cutting into bone joints and things like that, which is why this has that very, very strong angle so you can push down in, that is going to be a definite benefit. So, um, real quick, the last little thought I'd like to say, this is definitely a plug for these knives. I do love the doll strong knives that they've sent me i love the sharpening stone so if you are interested in any of the knives you've seen there is an affiliate link and they are very nicely made this is a very nice showing of a knife from them so uh yeah th th that's why i mean those are the reasons i could see going with a chisel there are a lot of reasons i mean if you have never tried one they absolutely do an amazing job in the kitchen um i use this for cutting large vegetables uh, and things like that for soups and stews they, where I want them to be kind of the same size and I want to have a really good flat cut on them just for presentation purposes you can use them so there you go guys that's why Japanese kitchen knives are a little bit different Japanese knives have traditionally been like this for a long long time hundreds of years um, and they haven't changed so there's obviously something going and a lot of people love Japanese style kitchen knives so you know, that many years of people doing it can't be wrong. And like I said, they can be ridiculously sharp. And like I said, super clean, straight cuts with these. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. They do a lot of things differently and better than some of the V-ground knives, especially cleanliness of cut if you're trying to present nice, clean cuts and things like that. Um, so... Yeah, I know it's a different type of video. We typically don't talk about it, but since Dahlstrong was kind enough to provide me with these knives and the stones I used to sharpen them, I thought even though this is not a sponsored video, why not just go ahead and do it? Because it's always been a topic that I was interested in. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why I can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you wanna support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the bell icon. If you do hit the bell icon, make sure you've got notifications set to all, and then make sure you've got notifications turned on on your device or you will not get notified of everything I put up every week. Uh, if you wanna support the channel financially, there are a bunch of ways, including a Doll Strong affiliate link that saves you 10% uh, at checkout. My affiliate links are basically self-sponsorship. Everything you purchase with the affiliate links down below provide a little bit of cash to the channel uh, with every purchase, but they don't cost you anything at checkout. So any of those that you use would be great. Like I said, there's a few with discounts, Coffee Brand Coffee, Dahlstrung Knives, and Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is actually 85% off right now through the holidays at for a 44% or a $44 two-year subscription. So Guys, there's other ways to do it. I have a membership down below. It is tier-based. All, all of my members have access to my Gilded Service, just like Discord. Um, but baseline and premium tier members are entered into a giveaway that I do as often as I can on the Gilded Server. And the premium tier members have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube that's behind a paywall for them only. And the final way is I do have a merchandise store. You can pick up my merchandise or other creators' merchandise with my coupon code CRAZYSHARP, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. And uh, if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in a video. No one has taken me up on that except for one guy, Walt, Walt G. That's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I will see you in the next video.